This body cam video shows Orlando police getting ready to take 69-year-old Hester Burkhalter into custody. I'm going to have to put cuffs on you because you're sitting in the back of my car. The grandmother from North Carolina was trying to visit Disney's Magic Kingdom with her family. And the happiest place on earth for her became anything but. It was the most humiliating day of my life. Turn around. She was detained in 2019 at a security checkpoint after a guard searching her purse found CBD oil. We tried to get, you know, the kids and herself into the park and all of this happened. And, you know, they, we stepped there, stood there by that table for a long time. Eventually, they arrested me and escorted him back to the boat. Now she's suing with the help of high profile attorney Benjamin Crump. Civil rights violations can come in many forms and many spaces. People often think it's about race, but this case shows that a civil rights violation can even happen at the so-called happiest place on earth. Burkhalter was carrying therapeutic CBD oil recommended by her doctors for severe osteoarthritis. She uses it to soothe joint pain. They put me in the car and I, I, I guess I just panicked. I don't know exactly what it did, but I managed somebody to get back out and I started throwing up and I asked them to call an ambulance and they said no, that they just tell you to get back in. The Disney employees separated Ms. Burkhalter from her family. She did not see them again for 15 hours while she endured a panic attack and was stripped body cavity search. Burkholter was released on $2,000 bail. The charges were eventually dropped. CBD oil is derived from industrial hemp and contains little or no THC, the active drug found in marijuana. CBD oil is legal in Florida and sold widely throughout the state. A lot of it's older people for aches and pains, everyday aches and pains, joint neuralgia, anxiety. Burkholter's complaint alleges that even after a field test showed that the CBD oil contained no THC, the sheriff's deputy still charged her with felony narcotics possession. The sheriff's office says the arrest was lawful. Disney says the incident was a law enforcement matter. We have given Disney and the Orange County Sheriff's Department several opportunities to make this right and to issue an apology to Ms. Burkhalter and her family for the traumatic 15 hour ordeal that they went through before we filed this lawsuit today. But Disney remains silent and their silence speaks a mouthful. So now Burkhalter and her family are suing the Walt Disney Company and the Sheriff's Department seeking $6 million in compensatory damages and 12 million in punitive. All right, let's bring in Ted Rollins right now. Ted, we see Benjamin Crump on the case here, and he's fired up, and he's fired up to go after Disney. Yeah, well, deep pockets, Vinny. You always go after the deep pockets, right? A civil lawsuit. In fact, in his lawsuit, he talks about the deep pockets, the deep pocket of uh, Disney. He at one point talks about the fiscal the stature of Disney, saying for fiscal year 2019, Disney reported $69.57 billion in gross revenue, uh, and then says that uh, notwithstanding its immense corporate wealth, Disney's lobbied President Trump and Congress looking for billions in taxpayer dollars to offset the effects of the COVID-19 viral pandemic, what might happen. <laughs> Basically, Crump is saying that uh, Disney World is bringing people in and maybe giving them COVID-19 and, and they're making billions and so we deserve X millions of dollars. It is a horrible story. If you think about it, this grandma went down there with her grandkids and uh, was using this CBD oil, which is very common, especially in the state of Florida, um, where it's legal. And, and to endure what she endured is really hard to imagine. Yeah, a, a little bit of common sense by, by either one, either the folks at Disney or, or, or the, you know, the Orange County deputies. I mean, it was labeled... She's a 69-year-old woman. What, what do they think she's doing? What, right. I don't understand this sometimes. I don't understand where the, how the common sense makes a quick exit.
Right, and how, you know, you get in that line there where the, your, your, did they check your bags, and so it's a Disney employee first, and it's like, ooh, look what I found, and then, all right, maybe that's, he's just, he or she was being cautious, but then a, a, an officer comes into it, and they said, ooh, get the cuffs, this, this lady has gone wild. Um, it just doesn't make sense. No sense. Well, keep an eye on that lawsuit. Some big, big <laughs> yeah. numbers. Ted Rollins, thanks so much. You bet.